hello everyone welcome to the engineering projects youtube channel in the previous video we have added the sql query to update the profile of the user and also add the validation check for the confirmed password of the user now we need to extract the information of specific user and to populate that in the setting page okay so here we have the id int and we are going to add some information here we will get the uid from session okay now here we are going to create a sample model for the profile setting temp user is equal to this we are just passing the value get profile setting okay get profile setting and we will pass only the uid which is come from here and that we will use the query single or first or first or default whatever you want to use and pass this model here now it will automatically passed and converted into the model which is type of user and then we will return that to this view and that's it in the re user registration mo uh, procedure we are going to add the user Here is the filter and we need to select all from the user where UID is equal to UID and that's it and execute add a check here and execute the application and let's see how it works We need to wait until it is uh, it is get executed it is loading now the application is executed click here to log in and from here i will go to the settings okay and here is the check and you can see that i get data or not here you can see i have all the information available right now from the database and it is really simple to use dapper it will automatically convert uh, the data table to model and return me that okay and now when i will click on continue all the fields are automatically populated just because I am using the razor view and I have uh, used the model binding two-way binding so all automatically data will get available here okay the rest of field should be disabled so I will go to here name will be enabled and use at this Able is equal to true country will be disabled password enabled email disabled city disabled uh, username disabled and now refresh
so here you can see user can only change the name password and uh, confirm password only okay so this is my current password uh, which I want to change so I have pass one and pass one the name remains same okay name is changed and update so the data is changed now I will refresh and here you can see the data is changed uh, in the database select all from this and you can see uh, what is the name okay this the data is not changed yet I have to add a debugger here into this okay here we have the information this is the pass one name one name is change uh, user ID is equal to this okay yes uh, we forget to add the user ID into the setting uh, page so we need to add a hidden field here so simply what I will do <coughs> I will add here at HTML hidden for UID and that's it and now refresh the page once new name pass one pass one and update so here you can see this is the ID available 1004 uh, which is this okay now uh, let me continue this remove the debugger and here you can see the information is changed automatically I hope this is informative if you have any kind of question you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering project YouTube channel